What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Let's go ahead and cut the lights on for us. It is today. Today is the day. It is time to get the sale done. Now, unfortunately, we've had a bit of a change of plan and I don't have enough time to warn the feds. So here's what's going down. Frank called us. He said, hey, drop off locations changed. He gave us the new location. Unfortunately, the feds are already set up. They've got all their stuff. We just don't have enough time. And so we've got to come up with a plan B. Plan B, for me anyway, has been call my good buddy, Quiet Mike. Could turn it off, turn the lights off. Arr. <laughs> We're calling Quiet Mike. Quiet Mike is going to meet us. Oh yeah, man, I can't wait to get rid of this thing. He is going to meet us in Felsburn. Now, why is he meeting us in Felsburn? Big, big reason there. Howard has got us a lookalike. That's right, a lookalike. And he has secured the truck that we stole this with. He has secured a lookalike from that as well. So, what we're going to do is while Frank gets the real one, this one right here. The feds will be getting the lookalike that he's put together. And so Quiet Mike's going to give the feds the old tractor, even though that's not what they're going for. So they're going to give it to him. Frank is going to get this one. We will get out of there. Frank will be happy. Frank's going to take off. <sighs> and all the while, golf cart... And farmer men are on their way here right now to get Alien Jim out. They have said they are going to do a diversion tactic. So, ought to be pretty interesting to find out nonetheless. So, we have a long journey ahead of us today. Sit back, relax. It's time to get started. We are in Felsbrunn. I just got off the phone with Quiet Mike. He's going to meet us over here. So, originally, the original plan, this was this was a good plan, but I don't I just don't think that's the way I want to do it. Frank's always been great to us. He's been wonderful. I can't screw him over. So, what we are going to do is we are going to give the feds the fake and we're going to give the real one to Frank. I think that's the best way to do it. So here we are. Uh, we really didn't even need to come here. Here's the fake. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Howard Bot for putting this together. Also, we have switched trucks. We had to. Hey, it's Quiet Mike. He would say hey, but you guys get it. Um, so Howard has put this together for us. Huge shout out to him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This right here is going to make everybody happy. Eh, roughly. Once the feds figure out what's what's happened, we may run into some problems. But in the meantime, we are good. We are safe. Oh, he's got it. Time to head out. Next stop is... Oh, no, no, no. We're going to get stuck right there. Back up, Quiet Mike. <laughs> rubber ducky, rubber ducky, back up. <laughs> All right, um... How many people does it take to figure out how to get out of a place like this? You know what? Uh, Howard, I do apologize. We're going to run all over your grass right here. Okay. Now, officially, next stop, Ravenport. We are in Ravenport. We have made it all the way here. And we made it here with a flat tire. Of course, over here. We've just got about sorted now. 
getting air into it now. These trailers are really cool. They've got like this internal air system. Really awesome. Anyway, you know what? Whenever we get paid for this, I'm thinking about opening my own transport company and getting a couple of these. Oh yeah, Goham Co. is coming back, baby. But for now, we got Quiet Mike rocking this. He is going to be heading down to the cement factory. He's going to be taking this to the feds. Meanwhile, I will be going in the uh, the swapped out truck with the real Challenger. And we're going to be taking this over to the sawmill. I thought it was just perfect that he did that. All right, Quiet Mike, let's rock and roll, baby. So he knows where he's going. I know where I'm going. This is the tense moment. Because we've got one minute to get there. Oh, I, <laughs> I know we said six o'clock. And maybe not a minute later, maybe a minute before. I don't know. So I know I'm going to be cracking a left right here. I think Quiet Mike's going to be continuing on straight. Here we go. This is the moment of truth, guys. This is the moment of truth. Do we get away with this? Do we not get away with this? Do the feds know that we've given them a fake truck and trailer? Well, not a fake truck and trailer, just a, a fake challenger is what we've given them. Oh, man. How is this going to roll off? Also, I've been told $1.2 million for our cut of this. I didn't even know the thing was worth that much. That's ridiculous. Whew. This is big time, guys. This is big time. We are here, and it is 5.59. It has just turned 6 a.m. Authorized personnel. Now, where is he? Um, where is Frank? Oh, I see blue trucks. I think I know exactly where we're going. Rolling through. There he is. You guys know him. You've seen him. There's Frank. Let's go and cut our lights off. there perfect it's uh what's up frank we got your stuff everything is here need to do a run over so we yeah now we had to swap out the truck we had to swap out the truck we didn't know if we were being tailed so now no worries they don't know what to look for don't worry your truck is safe it is back in mercury i've had somebody pick it up for us we did have a flat just to let you know but everything is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was on this this one. Nah, yeah, yeah, just just the one, just the one. Whew. What do you think? Is this what you wanted? Everything is good. Are we good? Whew. And we are back on Mercury Farms. We are back at home, and it's raining. What is this? It never rains anywhere ever. Oh my goodness. We got a phone call from a good buddy of ours, Mr. Alien Jim. I assume that means he is out and okay. Let's take a listen. DJ, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Woohoo! Thanks for everyone for the diversion. It was enough that I could get out. Um, I'm, I'm sort of in hiding. I will be sticking around for a while because I still got to get some more materials before I can get going. Um, I, I, who's that? That's all right. What? Is he dead? I, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go. I love hearing that he is okay, well, and good. That makes me very, very happy. What doesn't make me very happy is all this rain. Oh my goodness. Why is there so much rain? Oh, looks like uh, Big Daddy, he was again watching the place for us while we were going. Looks like he got some stuff built up. Oh, we got a little bit missed down here. I'm not too worried about that. We've got plenty of bells, plenty of bells that are going to be good for us. I think we've got a bell collector around here somewhere as well. We might be able to go ahead and get that up. Let's see. I don't, I don't remember what's in which one. Open, open, open. Okay, so. Bam, 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 bam. Got it. That's about. We take the big case. Oh yeah. He's a big boy right here. Now, one thing I did know, well, did find out and know, we will be getting $1.2 million from Frank for the work that we did for him. I don't know when that's going to come, but it will be here eventually. The government was not planning on paying us anything. 
Not a bit, not a single penny. And I gotta tell you, I would much rather work for pay than no pay at all. Yeah, you heard me, government. Arr. So that is why we did what we did and the way we handled everything the way we handled it. Still, nonetheless, we are back here. Oh yeah, and it is eerily creepy. Everybody is gone. The government's gone. Jim is still creeping around. I just don't know where he is. Uh, Frank is gone. So having those two entities just completely gone and away from Mercury Farms, I don't actually know how to handle it. It's it's just us again. It's it's us here hanging out with the rain. So yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. So let's get this stuff cleaned up. Let's get all of these bells collected. And we're either going to sell them or put them away in storage. I haven't made that decision yet. Last bell right here. Bell number seven. Now here's the great thing. Is we've got a massive, I, mean, I think three stacks. Yeah, three stacks of 16 bales. That's a whole lot of bales. And this, this is just adding to it. Speaking of adding to it, we have a lot of eggs that need to get out of here. Speaking of eggs, how are we getting paid for eggs right now? 2900 not bad. Again, at Spa Shop, highest, highest place is Spa Shop. Ever since all that stuff went down about two weeks ago, Spa Shop is the place to sell eggs. Ain't gonna see me complain any. Get, get out of there. <laughs> now I'm complaining. There we go. Load them up. Got it. Good. Yup. All is well. So let's back this in. And then we want to sell the eggs. Now the thing is, I think that's going to be way, way too much to sell. I mean, how many is that? That's almost three, two and a half, two and a half. So there's a lot of boxes of eggs there. I think... We're going to do one of two things. We're either going to take a tipper and just chunk them in the tipper. Or we're going to try and stack them up nicely. Uh, pallets, that kind of thing, and take them with the truck. Uh, first things first, they need to be cleaned up regardless of what we do. But I think I think we're going to get these eggs with a, uh, with a trailer. Let's take this here. Do we have any, like, low loaders that are, like, super low? Let's take a look. Let's go into low loaders. Um, keep in mind, we are on PC. So these are PC mods that you guys are seeing right now. Not really happy with those. Let's see, let's go into bailing technology. Check that out. So we could use the DPW. Um, let's see. You know, we could go back and use this again. The only thing is, I'm just not a huge fan of it. It doesn't spin quite right. Something about it's kind of weird to me. Regardless, it's nothing to complain about. Look up. Got it. Raised. Boom. So, one thing I want to ask you guys, and I've talked with Alien Jim about this and a few other people, and if you guys are down with this, then I would love to do it. Some people had asked me, you know, hey, how are you doing the, the series? How do you make it to where this and that and all this stuff? And, and if you guys are really interested in that, I would love to make a video just talking about that and and explain like hey you know here's how i did the you know here's here's how i did the the cell and here's how i went from from one map to another with you know the same stuff and and all that if that's something that you guys would want to see let me know down in the comments section uh, as of right now i'm not going to make that video just off the top however again like i say if it's something you would be interested in and it's something that you want to see i would love to make it for you. I'd be happy to. Um, you know, there's a few little tricks. It's nothing that can't be done on PC console. Everyone can do it. That's the great thing about it. There's so much. I mean, it's just so easy to do. And let's grab this guy and flip it. So we could probably just chunk them in there, could we? <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. We're going to stack them up properly. Here we go. It is raining, though. Like I said. I have not seen it rain 
in a minute. Oh, please don't recognize that. Yes! Okay, customize. We want to change to a bale loading wagon. That's exactly what we want. So, oh, we got back on it too? Word? Eh, nah, you know, we're going to keep it like this. Customize. Bam, baby. Now let's get this tractor. Well, you know what? I got to put this tractor away anyway. We're going to pull this up there. Loading these eggs is going to be a chore and a half. Let's see, three by five, so this is 14, 24, 25, 35, 36. Thank oh, goodness gracious. You know, we could sell those, or we could wait till it completely fills up with eggs. You know what? I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to put this just kind of over here, back where it was. Let me know how long do you want me to wait to sell the eggs? Sell the eggs now? Or wait and sell them all at the same time. Now let me know down there in the comment section below. So we got to put something in here. We've got a field there. We've got a field here. We got to put something in these fields. What do you think we should do down below in the comment section? Again, you know, drop those. Let me know. There's a lot of questions there for you guys. A lot of engaging entertainment. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we got $175,000 right now. Pigs are kind of, they should be breeding quite well. And sheep should be doing pretty well also. Let's bring this down, let's clean these guys up. I know that I do a lot of animal work, but it is just, it is work that's got to be done. There we go, there's that. And bring it down just a little bit more, see if we can get this last bit. Nice, nice and clean. So. How many pigs do we have right now? Okay, 36 sheep. I believe we bought 25. Or maybe we bought 35. I don't know. Pigs, 76. I think we started with, uh, was it 20 or 30 of those? They're doing well. Chickens, of course, we've got full, full chickens on everything. We're just rocking for eggs. 9, 24, 24. That doesn't make any sense. Why is that reading 9, but these are reading 20? Yeah, I ain't even in it. I ain't even in it. So we've got good productivity with the pigs and with the sheep. Let's check this out. How much are they selling for? A thousand bucks. So if we sold 50, we'd make 50 grand. We'd still have 26 pigs left. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to let them go and go and go and go until we get right to the end, uh, which would be a total of. That's a good question. How many pigs can we have total? Where is our pig enclosure? Three undo pigs. I should have known that. That's going to be a whole lot of pigs. How long do you think it'll take to get that many pigs? So we got wool going. This is just good things happening on the farm. Bam, 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 bam. Got it. Oh, goodness gracious. And then we have two more fields left to go. So we've got the field behind the sheep, excuse me, excuse me, and then we have this field behind the cows. Two fields that don't have anything to do with. Right now we are an empty slate and could do anything. So what I need you to do is let me know what you want me to do all across the board. Should we do one single crop? Should we do multiple crops? Should we start cows? Plant us some grass fields and, and get rocking with that. What should we do? Let me know down in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. With that being said, that is going to be it for today. This was an extremely exhausting episode. A lot of things have happened today. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you didn't, you know what button to hit. If you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe. And turn on that notification bell so you know every time I do those things. And always, if you have any ideas, drop those in the comment section below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Let your imagination run wild. We're on Mercury Farms. We can do anything. So, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.